Opposition have paid NLC leadership $5 million to destabilize Nigeria. CSOs allege in reaction to indefinite strike action. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. The leadership of the Nigeria Labour Congress, NOC, has been accused of a grand plot to destabilize the country through protest. The civil society situation room on good governance in Nigeria, CSS Rao GGN, in collaboration with other civil society groups, raised the alarm at a press conference on Sunday. In a statement co-signed by Thomas Tana Uza, Executive Director and National Convener, the CSO alleged that the NLC is being sponsored by the position to cause chaos. The further group claimed that the Labour Party has already been mobilized with $5 million to carry out its agenda. It is shocking that despite these glaring realities, are the dangers of restating, restating subsidies which will collapse the economy and create intractable distortions. The Nigeria Labour Congress is leading and coordinating other groups to sabotage the federal government. It is of note that the NLC insisting that on the strike is this part the federal government engagement with its leadership to explore options for addressing its demands. This raised a suspicion that they may not be upfront with Nigerians as to why the true intent of its industrial action. Ominously, it is now been mentioned that the NLC leadership has received $5 billion from a certain opposition leader for mobilizing the strike, organizing protests, and throwing the country into crisis. The aim for NLC to paint a Siwaji government black at cost a destabilization plot would bring the government down. Since we do not want to be caught on our words, we want to tell the NLC in clear terms that we dare them to go on an indefinite strike strike and the Nigerian civil society situation would take all legitimate measures to protect Nigerians from the hardship they want to put the country through. We are acquiring more specific details about the NLC dealing with the opposition and sadly with some foreign interest. We will provide these details to Nigerians when the need arises. The CSO therefore urged all well meaning Nigerians, particularly the youth, not to allow themselves to be used as cat and fodder for achieving some people's narrow objective. It other than I quote, we appeal to the federal government to look beyond the NLC and increase its palliative measures for Nigerians. We make this plea as we recommend the federal government for the it for the palliative yes provided so far. Now, let me tell you people, this is in all shades of uh, permit me to say of wrong. They're saying the opposition have paid NLC leadership $5 million to destabilize Nigeria. $5 million. $5 million. Ha. Okay. Why could they watch us everything in your future? But me, I don't, I don't know. I don't believe it. Government should ad announce the salary adjustment and the palliative it promised Nigeria because and stop looking for excuses. There is no way any further lies could be sold to ordinary people and be accepted again. You get as a view if this one continues like this. It be as it gets. Why is the federal government not doing anything since the removal of subsidy? The only thing is to be dribbling is to be dribbling labor. There should be a total lockdown if that's the that's the language they understand. After all, a great number of opposition do have turned out for Tenebus government. They have fully supported him, seeing his settlement is reflecting positivism. Let him build the country, and so, if it has issue, should no man complain through appropriate measure anymore? Truly, this government is a nice government and law abiding, and as such, we do anything possible to hear the cry of the masses through the Nigerian labor. Okay? Like the first bishop, the CLO ain't original, and they are failed to see in a Putin a genuine voice in the interest of the masses. You are not liberals and do not know where I choose. Pitch. Go and sleep and crush the CSO ISO voice. God Almighty, we join you accordingly. Why are some segments of Nigerians feeding so very much fat while the same masses of other youth have no jobs and nothing on the tables? Whatever you did call yourself, Tunibu government is already tagged as the best so far. Nobody wants to call him back, but the masses are asking for what belongs to them, especially with the excruciating pains of subsidy removal. Tunibu administration is all about lies through. It is APC. Why should I complain? 
We in a mode of feel who government legislators not still in the politics. The legislative government should come to our aid. A program which where we pray to spread the lies. And also until you see have made up the mind to do the need for. Or you put a refinery into work immediately, pay NLC 200% increase in workers' salary, and see quickly sign 109 increase for your fellow Asero Kabal politicians immediately. You assume office, keep deceiving yourself. You should understand that your friendly time to acquire this high office is digging for you. Okay. Is that the money you have bribed the presidential trading tribunal, or tribunal with? No obtain judgment in your favor. Since you brought the issue of bribe, I think it is something that you are very good at. My own BC make everybody take a chew pill. All right. Is that the money you bribed the presidential tribunal with to obtain judgment in your favor? Since you brought the issue of birth, I think it's something that you are very good at. Okay. Then how much the winning party gave you and your men to encounter this upcoming strike? The position have money more than the ruling party, so you are happy with the Nigerian situation. Now, how can you construct this nonsense and think people will believe you? I have never called someone names, but I think of you people are the general foods in Nigeria. Now, how much the ruling party gave you and your men to encounter this upcoming strike the position have money more than the ruling party so we are happy with nigeria situation now how can you construct this business and people think you will believe you have never called anyone's names what i think you people are the greatest uh-uh they can add it take easy the strike to is the truth is that nigerians are going through several leadership several Several okay, the truth is that Nigerians are going to receive severe hardship, not several. And some people are here writing about sabotage. Is it the first time NLC will embark on strike? Why is this one concerned sabotage? Your palliative were stolen by the community leaders, they did not give them to the poor masses. We get Nigeria leaders. Is it NLC that have been bribed you or the so called CSOs? What do you mean by BB administration? Are you telling Nigerians that anywhere there's a change of government, Nigeria is beginning afresh, even from the same political party? Well, let me remind you that this government said they are continuing from where Buhari stopped. So it is not a baby government. Buhari actually moved for subsidy, the same thing he protected against, free without being harassed by the then government. And how much did you collect to raise alarm? Well, like I said, I don't think this is actually it. Okay, I do not know how much NLC leadership has been paid, but definitely the leadership has been compromised and bent to destabilize the country. They are obviously well paid, or else how do you make such outrageous financial demands from a young administration trying to put the economic program in place? No business would accept such ridiculous proposal anywhere in the world. The NLC leadership just want to increase the suffering of the masses of lower workers. <laughs> All right, so on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.